Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. All right, so we're doing a 2022 Z71 Trail Boss. And this does have the actual Bose in it as well. So this is not the standard audio, it is the Bose audio. This is the Peck SNI 35. This is the LOC we'll be using on this new truck today on the 19 to 23. Chevy Silverado. We'll also be using a Stinger 4 gauge amp kit. I will put a link down below for both this and this. So both products we'll be using will be down in the description below. We'll also do some alternate 4 gauge kits and some alternate LOCs that you can use just in case if these are out of stock or they don't have them. So here's the connector right here which I'm almost 100% sure that this is the factory Bose subwoofer right here, which is crazy. I've never seen one like this. It's totally new to me. Um, I'm guessing that we can actually even tie into the factory sub wires here for our sub connection if this does have subwoofer connection on the radio. So we'll check that next and see if it does have that. But here is the actual factory Bose subwoofer. We'll take this out and show you what it looks like when it's removed as well. We be jumping, man. <laughs> so here is the factory Bose. I have never seen one like this. This is crazy. I guess they got a little different in 22 and 23. So we removed this right here, which is plugged into the amplifier. The factory Bose amp is right here on this side, okay? We went ahead and unplugged this and you just pull down this red clip and unplug it. And it just unplugs there. And then when you remove the jack right here, which unspins off with this piece right here, you just spin it off. When that comes off, there's another bracket that holds this down. And then we've got to remove this right here underneath the seat. And then this whole entire subwoofer enclosure will come out. Here's the factory subwoofer, I'm guessing, unless he switched it out with an aftermarket, but it has a kicker CVT in it. I don't know if he did this or if it comes with that. That's kind of crazy. I didn't know it came with a factory kicker sub unless he tried to take out the bow sub and put a kicker sub in here. I'm not quite sure on that. Here is the enclosure in the truck. Fits really nice. Uh, except for a little spot right there. We might have to touch that up where it hit right there, I guess, maybe. But the sub enclosure fits really good. Seat comes down, boom. Fits really nice in there. Gotta say, that looks really good. This will definitely be the first ported enclosure, so this should be pretty loud when it goes through. We'll see how that works. Okay, so here's this. Don't have to move that, which is pretty nice. And everything just fits right in here, so if you did need extra space, you could probably build this out and then take this out and get more cubic air space if you had to, but there's a lot of room in here. It's kind of crazy. This is a very nice box, too. I mean, it fits right in here with no, no problems. Right here, we're gonna go back behind this part of the box right here, and we're gonna try to put the amp right there. It's also where the terminal is for the box. So we're gonna try to slide it and hide it either down here or down here. There's also a metal post sticking out right here. But you can't put it back here because that's where the seat folds down. So that's where we're gonna go to try to put the uh, actual amp out. Here's the back side of the box as well. 
Now, you probably can fit normal subwoofers, but we're gonna do shallow mounts mainly because there's a port right here. So we're gonna do a shallow mount because there's not that much cubic airspace in here. Sealed, if it was sealed, I'd say, yeah, we could use it, but the shallow mounts only require like 0.4 to 0.5. So this should be perfect in about 0.75 cubic feet ported, which is what this is. I think it's around 0.75, 0 0.78 per sub. It is a pretty big box, so that's awesome. But normal subs are gonna require way more ported, probably like 0.75 sealed and like 1.25 ported. So we'll use the shallow mounts in this. We got the Audio Dynamics shallow mount subwoofers. They are installed into the enclosure. We will put a link to this enclosure. We will put a link and an email address to contact us about these shallow mount subwoofers. We will also put other shallow mount subwoofers down in the description below that we will, rec that we will recommend to use in this enclosure as well. But for right now, this is what we're gonna use. We have these in stock. We love these, they work really well, but we'll also put some others down in the description below that we would recommend just in case if you cannot get these audio dynamics or we do not have them in stock. We will also put a link to this enclosure down below in the description below. So what we did is we went down to the driver's side right here and right back in this very back channel back here, you can run your wire across and then we're gonna take our knob and we're gonna put it down here or right, right here, whichever back here to hide it. Um, that's his base knob for the amplifier. But I just wanna let you guys know that's where we ran it, is right in this back cavity right there, is we ran the wire straight across. We're trying to do is run all the wires down the passenger side. That way we can keep everything together. So you know our remote's gonna come off the passenger side of the dash. It'll come off of there. Our high to low is going to be on the passenger side kick panel. Our power wire is coming on the passenger side from the battery. So everything, and then our base knob will go over like this and then go down the passenger side so we can keep everything running all, all nice and neat down one side. We don't have to rip up the whole truck. Okay, so we've done a lot of these trucks and I'm starting to notice a similarity on this. This particular fuse panel is different than if you have a 19, 20, 21, 22, or 23, preferably the 19 to 22s, if you have this fuse panel, because you'll notice it's different here, different plugs, right? You will typically have this screen. You will have the digital dash, the longer screen, like the Hummer, the, Z, the Z71, the ZR1, all those, okay? Um, Z71, not ZR1. But this particular fuse box is different. So I wanna let you guys know that. Now, I have other videos on YouTube. If you have the different screen, the fuse box is gonna be different, and there's a lug right so if you have this particular fuse panel, it is different. There's one that has like a plug like this that's coming off the top that's white. I have made other videos and it has a lug right here that's just open. This one does not have that. So you will have to go to this, this lug right here. That, sorry, it's not focusing, but that lug right there, we're gonna take and we put an end on this for it and we're gonna basically press it onto that part right there. And that's what you're gonna use for your ignition that's only on this fuse panel. If you have the other one with the white plug on the top, you'll have an open lug there, which I can show you other videos. I'll put links down in the description below. But this fuse panel typically comes in the 19 to 22s, more like the 22 to 23s. I've noticed this fuse panel on this dash that has this long screen and the digital dash. So that particular dash is usually this fuse panel. The other dash that does not come like that is the other fuse panel. So just want to make sure that you guys know that. I'll put links in the description down below if you have the different Silverado because the different trim levels have different dashes, different fuse panels over here. So just keep that in mind. Then on this particular one, we're going to go to this lug right here and we're going to just tap it onto that lug. So this one is different. Okay, so just like all the other Silverados that we've done, you go down here into your, your kick panel right here, you remove the kick panel, and then you're gonna have a black, yellow, and, and then a yellow cross braided wires. Those are what you're gonna tap for your LOC, which we have in here with our RCAs, okay? And it's basically a normal SNI 35, that's what we use on almost all of these. You're gonna tap into there. 
and it's a mono signal so you don't have to worry about stereo on left and right this is what you're going to tag into so it doesn't matter as long as you pick take both your negatives and both your positives connect them together it will be in polarity that's what you're going to do right there we need to put that back into the kick panel but and then we're going to run all of our wires all down this channel here so every single thing is going to run all down this passenger side and then we're going to go through the back part here and everything's going to run down through here and then we're going to run it up in here into this carpet around come around here and then our wires are going to come out over there All right, so we got our AD amp installed in here right now. We've got four screws in, got our speaker wires ran underneath. Everything else is ran this way, up behind, up into there. We've got our ground connected under here. All the other wiring is running back through there. Um, speaker wires ran to the back of the speaker terminals on the enclosure. So everything is in here. It's installed, looking good. It's very simple. Ground, remote, power, speaker wires, RCA, base cable very simple setup here's with the sub enclosure all the way pushed back that's how much room you still have left in here this obviously we're gonna have to move a few things he had in here we're gonna have to move but fits in here really good I was gonna put it on this side over here but it just kind of way the, this terminal was I was afraid no matter which side I put it on it's gonna be worse and we we're running the wires that way so There's the enclosure. Looks pretty good. This is where we mounted the base knob on the center console right here for him. So it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. Even if it is lighting up, it's not going to blind him because it's way underneath there. So right here is where we ran our wire, which is where the loom is running through down to that grommet. See that grommet down there? That's where it's actually running through. And then our wires ran right up to here and it's ran into here. You want to take that off and show them? Step up on that thing. And then that's where we have ours ran through right there. And then our fuse holder is right down there. And that's where we plugged into up at the front part.
Thank <laughs> you.